Hello friends, I am Sri Rupa, a tutor from YXS Coaching. Welcome to my PTE listening tip of the day. Today we are going to discuss about write from dictation. This is a task type, which is the last task type that you have when it comes to PT examination. So here it goes. When it comes to write from dictation, you are going to listen to three to four sentences, mostly four sentences, and the expectation of the computer writer is that you would be able to type each and every word verbally. As in, whatever you have listened to, you have to type exactly as things are. To crack this write from dictation question type, we have to follow three simple steps. Let me write them on the board. Step one, listen. Step two, type. And step three, fix. So, you'll be listening to the sentence for three to four sentences. Definitely depends on the length of the recording. And as soon as you're done with the listening part, please do not wait. Type it immediately. Get it out of your brain. Once you're done with that, fix. Fix the grammar, fix the spelling, and of course, the punctuation. The expectation of the computer grader is that the sentence has to start with a capital letter and end with a full stop. Now what happens if a test taker happens to forget the full stop? The computer grader is going to deduct one mark for that. Yes, you heard me right. Suppose it's a long sentence having around 13 words. The test taker has typed each and every word correctly. When I say correctly, the word has to be grammatically correct and also the spelling needs to be correct. However, unfortunately he has forgotten to put the full stop. He will not get full marks. One mark would be deducted. Now when it comes to punctuation, I will not tell you that it is only restricted to starting the sentence with a capital letter and ending with a full stop. Even commas do play an important role. Let me elaborate that with an example. Suppose the sentence is something like this. Studies show that air pollution can trigger strokes, heart failures and respiratory diseases. Let us have a look at the sentence. In this sentence, we have a list of items. The rule of English grammar is that when we have one such list, we should put a comma against each and every item in the list. So, what are the items? Number one, strokes. Next one, heart failures and then respiratory diseases. Now, suppose a test taker has done everything correctly. Spelling is correct, grammar also correct. It was strokes as per the recording and he has typed strokes only. He did not change the plural noun to singular noun. Yes, that also matters. It starts with a capital letter, ends with a full stop. But unfortunately, he has not put a comma after strokes or he also missed the comma after heart failures. Then the computer grader will not take into account the word preceding the comma. That means the student has already lost one mark. Similarly, over here also, if he has forgotten to put the comma, he has lost one mark. So altogether, he has lost two marks. Despite typing each and every word correctly, he has forgotten the commas. Hence, he has lost two precious marks. So please be careful. We need to know the punctuation rules well. Knowing the grammar rules will definitely help you crack PT examination with flying colors. Give your best. Prepare well. Thank you. Bye-bye. All the best for your PT examination. See you soon with another video tip. Bye-bye.